Hello everyone. What I want to do is have a look at the drive monitoring parameters. Every variable frequency drive has monitoring parameters that you can view in a menu. We can, uh, we can view variables such as motor current, motor power, thermal state, and we can also look at the status of physical inputs. We are going to do that without using a meter. Let's get to it. We're going to use this little ATV12 drive to view some parameters. So I have a one third horsepower motor and a 120 volt input ATV12 variable frequency drive. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the monitoring menu which is the second one down. So we push the center button, scroll down to, to monitor, hit enter. Now we're into the monitoring menu. The first one is the reference speed of the motor right now, or the output speed. And I am going to start it running and you'll see that change. All right, so we'll just set that around 60 Hertz. I'll hit escape. And then the next one down is the motor current, which is very useful. You can determine, uh, you know, what, what's going on in the field if the motor's load is around 0 0.8 amps. That's pretty uh, standard for a one, uh, sorry, for a one third horsepower that's not loaded. Next one we'll go down to is the voltage. And this, this is a little 120 volt input unit and it's really low today. We have a lot of air conditioning conditioners running. It's very hot here. Now remember, you can do this on a lot of drives and you can also do it with the software. But this would be like a preliminary troubleshooting technique for getting a feel for what's going on in, in, the, uh, in the field. Uh, I just exited out by mistake there. Now we're in THR. That's the thermal state of the motor. It's only at 10%, so it's doing really well. You'll see it creep up, okay? And then the next one down is the thermal state of the drive. It's operating at about 40% of, it, of its maximum temperature. I'll hit escape down to the next one the output power of the motor it's around 23 percent okay now watch this i'll do a quick deceleration you see it you'll see it go negative because if i if i slow it down really quickly we, it regens back to the drive that's why it's showing a negative value okay so some of the things that you can look at in the monitoring menu we can also look at the last detected fault we can look at the, the runtime totalized for the motor and the on time for the drive itself. Now what I'll do is I'll scroll down to the, there's a maintenance menu in here also, right here, maintenance. And what you can do in there is you can troubleshoot, excuse me for a second here, these terminals, I do not have to measure these with a meter. If I suspect that one of my operating buttons, my stop, forward, or reverse, or my selector switch is, is, not, is not active, or the, the wiring is damaged, or there's a fuse that's blown, I can have a look at these logic inputs, right, without getting my meter out. So let's have a quick look at it. So I'll hit enter. And you'll notice that there's one of the inputs are active. That is the stop button because we are in three wire control. So I'll hit, I'll put my finger on it and hold it. And you'll notice that it is low. When I let go, it's high again. So I'll hit the forward button. You'll see it go high. Okay, so this is how we can troubleshoot without using a meter. I'll hit reverse. And we're on pulse control. Now I have a selector switch. I can program it for multiple speeds or set it to jog. Right now, it's, it's not doing anything. Okay, so we can set it up for whatever we want. So I'll escape out of here, but I just wanted to show you some of those settings. And they are, again, I mentioned they are read only. You can't hurt anything. Right now, the drive is DC injecting. So we should do a video on DC injection breaking. And it stopped. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next video.